What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm scrapping these three silly photos of some of my scrappy besties today. I had this bundle of paper. I think it was from a kit. It might have been from a citrus twist paper kit from a while ago, and I really loved all of the papers, uh, and I wanted to, to use them right away after I got them. So I'm flipping through trying to find out which one goes with my photos. It's going to be a 12 by 12 layout today. And I knew that I had a lot of the real estate of my layout being taken up by these, um, this massive photo strip, I guess you could say. Uh, but I didn't know which paper exactly I wanted to use because sometimes I find that if I use a busy pattern paper background for a 12 by 12 layout, it just gets a little bit too overwhelming. So I've picked these, I've picked these three, sorry, picked these three uh, that kind of go with the colors of our jumpers. This photo was taken in winter a couple of years ago and um, my beautiful friend Lauren, who has a YouTube channel, you should check her out, Lauren Hender. Uh, she's wearing a beautiful like pinky uh, jumper. I've got a corally colored one. And so I wanted to pick up on those kind of colors here. I've got this diamond, I guess you'd say a, a, yeah, a diamond patterned background paper. And it's one that I think that I would struggle with if I was just using a single photo uh, because it's, there's just a lot of diamonds. And <laughs> for me, diamonds and hexagons are mates and they're both in the category of shapes that I'm not particularly uh, fond of. I'm stars, yes, give me all the hearts. Woo, circles, throw them my way. But diamonds and hexagons, they have a few too many points and angles for me and I do find it difficult to, um, to work with them. So this was a good way to kind of cover up a whole lot of the diamonds with my photos and because the photos are so you know, busy. There's a lot of us in the photos, so there's a lot to look at. Um, your eye doesn't go towards the the angularness of the diamonds in the background. I needed to add some sort of texture uh, to my page though. So I've got a strip of double-sided tape and I'm concertina folding some tissue paper very, very fast. I, I'm not doing it this fast. I've sped it up um, because it is a, quite a bit fiddly to do. And of course I ran out of tissue paper. So I just grabbed another little bit there. And this just help again, it, it helps to soften the background and make it not so Ah, I'm a pointy diamond um, and just, you know, just kind of loosens things up a little bit. So now I like to, whenever I'm sticking things on top of a um, ruffly tissue paper border, I do like to put some double-sided tape over the edge of the ruffle just to really cement it down and uh, keep it in its place, <laughs> really. This uh, piece of paper has a beautiful gold foil to it and it actually still has the manufacturing strip on the top with the text on there. It has a hole punched in the center of the manufacturing strip where it was hung on a shelf at the shop. Uh, but with the tissue paper behind, you, you can't really tell. And I figured if I could tell once everything had been stuck down, I could always stick some sort of embellishment over the top of it. Um, so that's another reason why I, I like paper pads because you get the full manufacturing strip. Whereas if you buy a uh, sin single individual double-sided sheets of, uh, scrapbook paper quite often the manufacturing strip is all the text and you don't really get as much pattern. I've got a pack of florals from Pink Fresh and I'm bumping some of them up on floral just to give it a little bit of extra something um, and I'm just keeping a little cluster down the bottom left there. That camera that I just pulled in <laughs> is a cut apart and I have tried to put that camera on so many pages you may have seen it pop in um, previous layouts. I think I've probably tried on 10 pages or so, and I just can't seem to figure out what to do with it. But it, it just stays on my desk. Um, it just hangs out and one day it will get used, <laughs> one day. I've got this sticker sheet from a older Cocoa Vanilla 
collection um, from several years ago was a birthday themed one and these photos were taken at a, a scrapbook retreat it was no one's birthday but there's quite a few stickers on there that um, can be used just for everyday occasions like this camera and this little pink is it called a rotary circle or a spiky circle I don't know what it's called but um, I just bumped those up on craft foam just to kind of give them a little bit of extra attention uh, and then I am adding some glue um, I tried double-sided tape to um, oh I've got foam I've got foam on this heart I am adding glue because I've had a bit of bad luck with these hearts recently just falling off uh, I think some of them got sun damaged in my craft room so I've got two little clusters at the moment and I always like to do my clusters in either a triangle or a diagonal so I've got that bottom left hand bit down there with the um, with the flowers and where I'm just adding this camera which is just so perfect for this photo it says we just click which I think is quite fitting because you know we've got a little scrappy crew and we're scrapbookers so we take a lot of things with photos take a lot of things with photos we take a lot of photos with cameras Mwah, words aren't working uh, so I pop that on top and then of course why not add a little heart maybe possibly adding some extra glue um, but this was just a you know a fun page where I wanted to keep um, the color palette quite simple and the the photos like I said they've got so many people in them and uh, I really wanted the attention to stay on the photos and even though we are wearing quite a few there's a bit of yellow in there there's some blue there's lots of black um, I did want to keep the colors to basically just be pink and blue there is a touch of green on that uh, stripy paper up there but yeah not do too many hectic colors I've got this pack of puffy uh, titles from I think they they're pink paisley maybe and I've had I think I bought three packs of them because I love them so much so you've probably seen them in a whole lot of layouts because I've been using them a lot um, but I just put that lovely there because all of these girls are very very lovely and then I'm adding some journaling with my Uniball Signo Broad white gel pen I added it so super speedy I'm also trying to figure out what title I want. Um, I really liked that happy day that's on this uh, birthday themed thickers pack. And I was very tempted to use it because it was the right color. It was like a pale turquoise, but I did feel like it would have blended in a little bit too much. And I kind of wanted a, a title that was a bit um, bolder and I, I just thought a darker title would work out. So I'm trying to figure out all of the titles that I wanted to um, to do either didn't have enough letters or uh, they it was too long and it wouldn't have fit across. So it did take me a while to <laughs> go back and forth um, and I ended up with the very original title, Oh So Silly, because we are a bunch of silly scrappy billies. Uh, then I needed a bit of journaling, um, so I'm trying to find out if I wanted to do a label um, and then I got distracted by a sticker next door's dog ah. peeps if it's not the lawnmowers it is the canines in my neighborhood at the moment I have tried to film <laughs> today I had eight voiceovers on my to-do list and I have managed to film four because I've had to take quite a few pauses in and out but alas we will get this one done there's two more minutes let's see if the dogs in my neighborhood can stay nice and quiet for a little bit uh, so I've got my title stuck down and I felt like I needed a little spot of dark to tie in the dark blue of the florals as well as the dark blue on that pattern paper on the side there uh, and I was going to go with a label sticker but in the end I grabbed my white out I was very inspired by my beautiful friend Lauren who on her YouTube channel does a lot of white outing with a um, what do you call it is it a tape white out tape I think that's what it's called and uh, then she journals over the top and this is a technique that I first saw her do and I've loved it ever since I saw her do it and it's so simple uh, and it works really well when you've got a background that has a predominantly white um, you know color at the back of it but has some busy details that you want to cover up a little bit so you can journal 
So now I wanted to add just one final little touch here and I went with roller stamps because I thought I already had a lot of words going on uh, and roller stamps are just a little bit more subtle than adding a, a chunky word sticker. Hey, I just realized I'm wearing the same jumper in this filming as I was in these photos that were taken, you know, two years apart. There you go. My fashion hasn't changed. <laughs> and now I've added my roller stamps and this page is all done. So if you enjoy scrapbooking and you enjoy my process videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, it helps me out and it helps my video then be discovered by new inklets who are looking for some scrappy inspiration. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.